Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can root Honor View 10 also known as Honor V10 the phone is running Android 8 version and the first thing we need to do is enable developer options by tapping 7 times on build number Then we need to open developer options and uh, enable OEM unlock and also enable USB debugging here. We must make sure you have enabled file transfer mode for USB before enabling USB debugging otherwise USB debugging will not work. Then we will move to computer and uh, here we need to open CMD window and uh, then we will type uh, ADB devices to check the connectivity of uh, phone. It is connected. Now we will type ADB dash reboot. No, it's ADB space reboot dash bootloader and press enter. And uh, the phone should enter fast boot mode immediately and now we need to unlock the bootloader of this phone we was uh, bootloader code of this phone is very expensive and it needs uh, you to open back cover of your phone so keep in mind the bootloader code will cost a lot so if only you can contact me if you need bootloader code but uh, it is expensive and uh, needs special way special method to generate the bootloader code okay now I will copy the bootloader code of my phone and uh, type the command fastboot space OEM space unlock space and then paste the code press enter as soon as you will press enter a warning will appear on your phone screen you need to select yes by ho by pressing volume up button and then press power button to confirm your decision and now the phone should uh, perform a factory reset phone just booted up now we need to configure uh, uh, the initial settings make sure you don't set uh, screen lock or any fingerprint uh, lock uh, on your phone and uh, just quickly reach uh, home screen then you need to enable developer options and then in developer options you need to enable USB debugging just like before and make sure the USB is set to files transfer mode otherwise USB debugging will not work okay the USB debugging has been enabled also allowed the USB debugging and uh, now on uh, our computer we will copy the magisk file magisk zip file we should copy it to our SD card viewers you cannot use internal storage so make sure you have SD card otherwise you cannot root your phone we have copied the magisk now we will type the command adb reboot dash bootloader and the phone should enter fast boot mode where we will be able to flash twrp recovery okay the phone uh, just entered uh, fast boot mode and uh, now you will be able to see that phone is unlocked and frp is also unlocked now we need to flash the TWRP recovery command is fastboot space flash space recovery underscore RAM disk space and here you can type the name or simply drag and drop the TWRP recovery image on CMD screen and press enter once TWRP, 
the TWRP recovery has been flashed. You need to disconnect your phone from computer and then you need to hold volume up and power keys simultaneously. Make sure you keep holding these two keys volume up and power even after reboot just keep keep them holding and uh, you will see the TWRP recovery appears just keep holding even after this black screen and uh, keep holding until you see TWRP recovery Okay, TWRP recovery appeared. Now we need to swipe to allow modifications. And then you need to tap on install. Viewers, if you like to take backup of your partitions, you can do here. You can make backup on your SD card. Anyway, I don't need any backup. So tap on install. And then here you need to tap on select storage and uh, there you need to choose micro SD card on our micro SD card we need to tap on magisk zip file and then swipe to flash now this flashing process will take few seconds I think almost done okay now we need to tap on uh, reboot system button on the bottom and uh, if it asks you to install anything just press do not install okay now the phone should uh, reboot phone has booted up now here we will be able to see the Magisk Manager it means flash has been successful and uh, now we need to connect our phone to Wi-Fi and uh, check if it is saying Magisk has been installed yes it is saying Magisk is up to date and installed now we need to install root checker you can also download root checker from Play Store if you have a PK file you can install it offline root checker is installed open it agree with terms and then tap on verify root and grant root access and yes it is saying your device has been successfully rooted Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future.